One project we're working on right now is the prototype testing of a pair of radio communication units. These are FreeWave serial radios. They're designed to take RS-232 serial data and transmit and receive over these radio antennas. These are 900 megahertz units, unlicensed band. Right now we're doing testing with them using HyperTerminal, which is a serial a terminal program that runs on Windows XP. We've got a serial cable coming out of the PC right here, going into our custom uh, connections to the pins on that FreeWave radio board. This is one unit here. We've got another unit that is set to talk to this one. It's sitting over here on the other side of the lab. Very similar setup. Freeway radio unit right here. Wires going to a serial cable and a 24 volt DC power supply. And this goes to another PC that we can type messages on. So I'm going to have my assistant type a few things in for us. And we will see the readout over here. All right, Chris, type in something. Alert, alert. Mars needs women. <laughs> so that's a message that he just typed in, and we got the message live over serial link. Again, this is over radio. This is a great way to test serial devices, is to use a program like HyperTerminal to send and receive ASCII text. If you can send and receive ASCII text, really sending and receive any other uh, digital data is no problem at all over RS-232. That's a great, simple way to do some testing between units. And the students that set up the radio units here had to overcome a lot of technical difficulties before they got these two to work. For example, one of the difficulties they had was the 9-volt battery supply they were using to power it. Uh, this will run anywhere between 6 and 30 volts DC. We started by powering them up with 9 volts DC, but it turns out that the batteries we were using were kind of low on their charge. And as a result, when it would transmit, the battery voltage would dip down, and this would begin to have errors. So we connected ourselves a nice AC-DC 24-volt power supply. That's a much more stable power supply for the radio units, and now they are working just flawlessly. The eventual use of these radio units will be for a SCADA system that we are upgrading between a PLC and an HMI unit to send data back and forth about 1,000 feet apart. We currently have some inexpensive serial radio units that are working, but they're not working that well. These free wave units are much nicer. They have more power, they have more diagnostics capabilities, and most importantly, they have the ability to do a multi-point network, which is more than just point-to-point, -point, more than just two units. We can have several units out there with one master and multiple slaves. So that's the kind of upgrade we're hoping to do to the SCADA system. And this is the test that we uh, did it with. Just to show you the text goes the other direction, I can type in something here, uh, something really clever, AAA, BBB, CCC, DDD, EEE, FFF, and we'll see if that message pops up on the other screen, which it should. Just to demonstrate that indeed this is two-way communication. So coming over here, sure enough, that is the message right there. So two-way communication, serial data over radio, 900 megahertz, using the free wave serial radio units.